Hi, Pre-K-3. I have a new book for you. It's Whistle for Willie. Now, do you know what whistling is? Whistling is a really tricky thing to learn. And that's okay if you don't know how to do it. I'm not sure I know how to do it very well. But there are some things we're good at, some things that we're not, and that's okay. And we can always keep trying, and sometimes we get better at things, so just keep trying. Whistle for Willie. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Do you see the dog running straight to him? Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around, around and around he whirled, faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Do you ever turn so fast you get dizzy? That's what, that's what Willie did. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming quick as a wink. He hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Shh, wouldn't it be fun if you, I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and he started home. On the way home, he took some colored chalk out of his pocket and he drew a long, long line. That would be a fun thing to do, draw a line and try to walk on it. Do you see them? They're jump roping. Let's see if we can follow Willie's or Peter's line all the way home. Up. Oh, look, he does a little dance around them. <laughs> there we go. Let's find it. Right up to his door. Let's follow this line again. And he goes around the pool, around, around the pool. And he goes over here, a little loop to loop. He stood there and he tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and he put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Is he moving his lips together? Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, oh, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go and look for them, said Peter. It was silly. It's fun to play pretend like that and dress up. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. There's some jumping over the crack. That's a fun game to do too, try to jump over the lines. And there he is running away from the shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew and suddenly out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was whistling. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. 
is a good story. And even if you tried and tried and still couldn't whistle, that's okay. We all can learn to do different things and sometimes it takes a while to learn a new skill. And we just have to keep trying. I hope that you're gonna go outside and maybe try jumping over some cracks in the sidewalk or drawing a line and trying to trace it. Maybe you have a dog and you wanna to try to whistle or hide and see if they can find you. I hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.